up the tree. Our little squirrel. Okay, he's in a interesting location on a branch. He's eating his triple peanut. Okay, white tail, the male white tail kite on the kite dining tree. He's preening there. And not him. He's up there. Okay, we're a little closer across the street. The male is uh, preening, so right now he looks like a headless bird. And he's talking to his mate. And he's there. Okay, we're east of the white-tailed kite nest tree, and the female's head is visible. Happy 1st of May. We're suspecting, oh, around mid-May is when her babies are going to hatch little kitelets. That's not what they're technically called, it's what I've dubbed them, kitelets. Let's see if I can catch the male over on the dining tree. I have to go way out, I guess. No, I don't see it from, oh, well, I kind of do. No, I don't. Don't see him. Oh, he's off in the distance. We have Fluffy coming down the sidewalk towards us. She was at her feeding area, now she's at her daytime area. Yep, yep. He's a good girl. Just wanted to be sure that we were going to come feed you, huh? Yes. Okay, let's go. Whichever way you want to go, Fluffy. Take the fence. Take the fence. Go ahead. We'll see you there. Okay, we're at Fluffy's feeding area. Yeah. Treats down. We're at Buddy's area, and uh, he's arrived. Jay's getting ready to put down some live mealworms. Down he comes. I don't see one down there. Where's the worm? Okay. Is that the final one? No. 
Okay. We are almost out of mealworms and there are none around until probably at least next week. So Buddy's going to have to go through with mealworm withdrawal. We've got freeze-dried ones, but we don't have more alive. Hi there. Do you like some treats? I believe this is Luther. He's one of the first cats we saw here at the Lutheran Church. So that's how he got his name. Pretty guy. Yes, you are. Gonna go check out the treats he put down. Yeah. He's a handsome one. Yeah. We haven't seen him for a long time. So nice to know he's still around. And evidently he has somebody who's taking care of him because he's not uh, thin or anything. He looks very healthy. Beautiful orange tabby. And he never warmed up to us. I mean, he's okay with eating treats and that's about it, which is okay. That is perfectly okay if that's all he wants. I'm gonna. He's not watching you, dear. He's walking away. Okay. Okay. On the hillside behind Alviso Adobe Park, we have a black-tailed deer foraging. We're not seeing any others at this time. Just approaching the entrance to Alviso Adobe Park. Looked up on the hillside and there's this lone deer. Appears to be a doe. Not seeing any sign of antlers. Okay. Okay, much higher on the hillside. Uh, they're going over the hilltop. There were four, possibly five deer spotted. Okay. I didn't see them at first because the way the sun was, they just blended right in with the brown hillside. We got a young rabbit in the park. Two young rabbits. I'm in the back of the park and there's one spot between various trees where I can pick up the deer the solitary deer. I haven't seen the others come back yet. Happily grazing away. Fluffy here on our return trip. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, Fluffers, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, on our return trip, uh, female on the kite nest tree, just barely able to see her head. She's uh, not sitting up as high as she does sometimes. There you go, there's your head. And here's the male white tail kite sitting on the kite dining tree. Ever nearby. And he's up there. 